I found myself summoned to the dean's office, and if you're a student, being summoned to the dean's office is rarely a good thing. In this case, the dean said, I think you should apply for a Rhodes Scholarship, and I was completely stunned and went out the door thinking, well, thanks, but no thanks. And it took me a while to decide that this was an opportunity that I needed to at least try for. It probably took me until the end of the interview to absolutely convince myself that I did want to do this, but in the end it was an opportunity that I would have regretted forever not trying for. At the time I was in my final year of medical school and I had in mind that I would be a rural GP, and that's probably what I would have done. So I think what the scholarships gave me, amongst many other things, is an entirely different career and an academic track that I would never have otherwise sought. One of the things that one leaves Oxford with is an enormous network of people in different fields, different disciplines, and that network persists and is incredibly valuable. For an academic who's always at risk of living in an ivory tower, being able to get a different perspective on academia is hugely valuable. And of course it's broader than just the Rhodes Network. The people I knew in Oxford have continued to be friends and to be part of my life. Uh, my first PhD supervisor in Oxford has been a mentor ever since and is still a good friend and somebody who's been incredibly important to help guide career and to provide mentorship ever since I left Oxford.